Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for your support and your likes and thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't, please hit that button so I can keep doing these readings for you. And I love you guys so much. Always love my Pisces friends and family and my heart goes out to you because um, this reading looks really hard. I know you guys are going through a rough spot right now based on what these cards are saying. I went ahead and pulled the spread um, before I got on here. So the first thing um, that's coming up here is this Queen of Wands. Now this represents you, Pisces. So uh, this is the best part of the reading right here. Um, this Queen of Wands, she's very magnetic. She's very intuitive. Look at her little cat. She's got a little gray cat with her. <laughs> he looks pretty happy. Um, she's very magnetic. She's really successful. She can do family and career and keep it all together. And trust me, that is what's going on for you Pisces, especially Pisces women at this time. You're kind of carrying the load. And this reading I've got here really shows how much of a load that you are carrying. They're showing me some disappointment showing up. This is your crossing card. This is the Five of Cups. It's reversed. So there's a lot more here to work on. I mean, nothing's over or ending or anything like that. You're just going through like a situation that you're disappointed in. You know, you wish things were different. You wish things were easier. And trust me, from the look of these cards, things are really difficult at this time. I want to remind you, this too shall pass. <laughs> Things have a way of working out. So um, what's hanging over you at the moment is feeling like you just kind of want to run away. This is your Eight of Cups. This feels like you want to just uh, be done with it. You're ready to just leave those cups behind and take off. <laughs> okay. I know you're not going to, but I know it runs through your mind um, because things are, you know, really weighing on you, really weighing on your shoulders at the moment. And this right here, this Knight of Wands, he's reversed and, um, you know, he's it's blocked energy and it feels like you kind of want to move. You can't move. You want to do something different. You can't. It's a lot of blockages and frustration with that card. Um, the good news here, this is the Five of Pentacles reversed, which, you know, is not a good money card. It's not horrible, but it's not, not really considered a great money card either way. It is upside down, which means it's ending. It's also showing up in your past. So that's a very good thing. Okay. So I know you've gone through some money struggles based on what I'm seeing and I'm seeing, um, work issues. And in fact, the next card up in the near future is the upside down work card. So this is the upside down eight of pentacles, which is telling me um, work is gonna feel out of control. Um, it might feel slow at times. It, I feel like the main thing is you're feeling overworked. Um, this guy looks like he's, you know, really struggling. He's, you know, that one's hard. That's hard and I know that's right in your near future, you know, like now, <laughs> like now going into the next week or so. Now, there's, there's this little Knight of Cups that shows up. And this is coming up in your more extended future over the next one to three months. This is a card of somebody in your life being unreliable. Um, it may be somebody coming in with trickery. Somebody coming in telling you something better than it really is. Uh, it might, you know, watch out for things like contracts, read the small print. This could be something where you're told something's going to be great and it's just not. This could be somebody who is deceitful, isn't telling you the truth. And I'll see if I can get a little bit more on that in a minute. Now, I feel like the rest, you know, the rest of these cards I'm getting, like, you know, you're in an oppressive situation and you've got this Knight of Swords card upside down, unexpected trouble, somebody that's, you know, but that's somebody you're worried about. Um, that goes to a whole different situation. Let me talk about this guy for a minute. So this reversed um, knight, of, uh, knight of Swords, he's telling me <laughs> this is a guy that can be abusive, can be violent. I see that you're worried about this person. Now he's not showing up in your future. He's not showing up as a final outcome. He's only showing up as a worry. Okay, so I just want you to kind of know that because I feel like there's somebody you're concerned that's going to come in that's going to cause you a real problem. It looks like he's not. I'm not I'm not seeing anything. In fact, um, the other cards that I've got here, you know, they're not showing that at all. So I don't think that that's a concern. And I just want to tell you that so you can, you know, get rid of that. 
Now the next, the final outcome for right now and is having to do with this upside down. So many of these cards came up upside down. Sorry. I really wanted to reshuffle and do it, but you know, the cards never lie. So I'm, I do trust the cards. So your upside down Knight of Pentacles has to do with slow, steady progress, like really slow, really slow progress and feeling like things just are not coming together. It feels like, um, you know, things around you, like you can't depend on things that are around you right now. Uh, this is a this is unreliable. You know, when he's upside down, you're feeling like you can't trust the job. You can't trust the bosses. You can't trust people who are supposed to be helping you or advising you and things like that. So that's some of what's going on right now. So I kind of asked where this is going as for an overview. You're going from the queen of wands that I showed you earlier, the warm magnetic figure with the kitty cat to this you're going to the queen of swords okay because you're having to you're having to go from your heart into your head you know we're always advised to listen to our heart which is very important but in this case you're having to be very intellectual you're having to really think things through make plans make decisions uh, there's a lot of um, weight on you the women pisces at this time these are all women figures showing up in charge of all this work and money and all these things and carrying a huge load at the moment. I just feel it feels like a really heavy load. However, there is this four of wands coming up. Now, this is a super good card. Again, this is an overview. This is where you're headed with all this hard work. So this has to do with, you know, um, happy marriage and it has to do with a family. It has to do with vacation. <laughs> I know you need a vacation. It's having to do with celebration. So it may be that you're going to somebody's wedding. It may be you're going to some sort of celebration or party um, that you'll have an invite to that. But more importantly and more lasting than that, I feel like this has to do with your house and it will be steady. You know, this is a home. This is, you know, happy marriage and um, putting down roots and commitment. And that definitely is an overview of all this work that is happening for you at the moment. So the other thing that's coming up here is... Um, there's owing some money. There's something about the situation of uh, these jobs and money and things like that being all over the place in this reading. Um, it may leave you um, owing some money and also could be some money coming into you. So this is a, you know, giving and receiving of money. So this whole reading today, Pisces, was very much about jobs and money. And I know at this time it's really weighing on you. So this too shall pass. It will get better. It's just where you're at at the moment. But, you know, just keeping it real. I wanted to just tell you that's what I'm seeing for you guys right now. And we'll keep an eye on it and see where it goes. And post any questions or anything you have, any comments, um, you know, in the comments for me. I'd be glad to, you know, try to answer those in future readings. And please subscribe. <laughs> okay. You all have a wonderful day. I love you guys, Pisces. I know things are going to get better soon. Love you. Bye.